Welcome to Flying Fires YouTube. Today I'm gonna to be firing up over here at Disneyland for some updates. Not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Calibet. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Today is Saturday, it is hot. Ooh, very, very hot. We're gonna be getting lots of updates because there's actually a big update that dropped today. In Walt Disney World, we recently saw a brand new version of Country Bear Jamboree. It's a lot of fun. I love all the song choices they did. I keep saying it's foreshadowing. You know, they put some Zootopia, some Coco in there. We'll see what happens with D23. But out of nowhere, today being Saturday, like 7 a.m. I felt like this happened. Disney announced Hungry Bear Restaurant here at Disneyland is going to be reimagined and will reopen as Hungry Gator. That's right, Hungry Gator. I'm just kidding. It won't be Hungry Gator, but it will be reimagined to Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. Not too long ago, we saw Big Al come as like a wood kind of statue over there for DVC uh, by Grizzly River Rapids at DCA. So there's been all these like hints of could Country Bear Jamboree come back to Disneyland as an attraction? We will see. But this Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree is going to be a, a restaurant that will be inspired by the Country Bears and their travel to music halls across the United States. I don't know how you jam pack all of that in into that Hungry Bear, but sure. We're going to take a look at what Hungry Bear is looking like right now, so we'll get a good view at that. Uh, also, Disneyland Resort also said that the restaurant's new menu will be inspired by the Country Bears' favorite regional barbecue dishes. Dude, barbecue coming back to Disneyland, let's go. Why not? The restaurant will not be a character dining location and uh, more details will be announced and when it's opening later down the line. I just want the Country Bear meet and greets to come back and what a better spot than over there by Pooh Corner for them to come back. So maybe we could get Country Bear Jamboree characters back at Disneyland. You know, they're at DCA currently. But uh, it's like very rare that we see them, but them coming back to Disneyland, them now having a barbecue spot. This is awesome. More details coming with this whole Critter Country revamp that's happening. Uh, we're gonna get on the train. That's how we're gonna start off our trip. And then at some point in time, we'll get on the Mark Twain to get a bunch of looks at all the construction happening out here at Disneyland. Construction always means good things, which is a vision to the future. I'm excited for the future. We're so close to D23. <laughs> All but the highest pass is currently available. So a lot of people blocked out currently. The crowds have been very low on Saturdays. Saturdays are the day to come now. At least, well, passes are blocked, I guess. Speaking of surprises, this place we're passing over is chock full of them. Here in Critter Country, you can join Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and other beloved critters on fun-filled adventures Hi. where anything can happen. As we, steam we got some great looks at Critter Country entrance, still pretty much a dirt field, but a very improved dirt field because this time around, it looks like a lot of the wiring that was exposed on the ground area, they've kind of almost, I don't want to say flattened, but they're getting ready to start doing that flooring over there. So lots of pipes coming out of the ground. So I'm really curious, is that electrical, but for what? Or is it pipes to kind of make sense of the queue that's going to be happening in that area? I don't know. Uh, but it looks very interesting. Uh, we got a great look too at the facade and the entrance of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We're starting to see yellow uh, or green and yellow paint come to life. Uh, I can't wait. This is just getting more and more exciting. Also too, we got kind of a good look at what's happening in Critter Country. Look at Critter Country Hungry Bear. Uh, it looks like they're just starting on that. Nothing big just yet, but we're gonna also get on the Mark Twain. So we'll get a good look at uh, all of that. Hungry Bear, Haunted Mansion, and just deeper into Tiana's Bayou Adventure from that perspective. They're still doing the Pixar Fest Fantasyland Theater, uh, like dancing and meet and greets, but this has now arrived. Wow. I, I wonder if they're gonna redo the floor. That's what I'm thinking. Today is a Saturday in summertime and Small World at 4.30 legitimate walk-on, no line. You just walk straight into the ride. 
One thing that I feel like I can really make a strong conclusion now because I've been coming on Saturdays a lot more is I feel like not a lot of people bought the highest magic key. And uh, the reason I say that because uh, the second highest magic key, they could come on Fridays. Fridays have been packed. But Saturdays, which only the inspire the highest magic key, it's not, it's, it's nice. You have to buy a ticket or have the highest magic key to come right now. But Saturdays are nice. <laughs> Up next, Mark Twain. Let's get those updates. Sadly, we're not able to go to the third floor. It's all right though. We got the second floor. If you're brave enough, you should see for yourself after we arrive back at the landing in Frontierland. We're now passing Powers Hall. This is home of the three massive wind jam of the Columbia, the first American ship to circumnavigate the world. Here's a bit of history. First American ship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. One thing we know for certain now, that sign's gonna change. It's not gonna say Hungry Bear. Hungry Bear Barbecue Jamboree. It's really hard to see from the second deck in a haunted mansion, but one thing that did stand out in today's update, a whole new entrance. Uh, I don't know what to call it, the marquee entrance of the reimagined haunted mansion queue. Can't wait to see how all that comes alive. Are, are they at some point gonna put Jack and like pumpkin or Nightmare Before Christmas decorations? Are we ever gonna see Nightmare Before Christmas decorations outside the queue again? I, I don't know. These are good questions to start asking now. <laughs> uh, obviously we know the queue is not gonna be opening for a long time. Uh, maybe it doesn't reopen until it's regular Haunted Mansion again and we won't get these answers till next year. But still heavy, heavy work happening in Haunted Mansion Q. Pretty much a dirt field. And at some point in time, they're gonna put an elevator over there. Uh, for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, we, we kind of got some good looks. Still have lots of exposed areas on the side of Tiana's Bayou Adventure, but it's looking good. The big one that's happening now is Country Bear Barbecue Jamboree. The whole first, like, or uh, first entrance area all behind scaffolding. Uh, it's pretty much all behind scaffolding, honestly. Uh, I'm really curious how, how they're gonna do or reimagine that like ordering area. Uh, is I'm guessing there's gonna be big changes happening inside the restaurant, you know, from like the cooking perspective. But really excited to see what comes barbecue wise back to Disneyland. And then the big question, do we get the Country Bear Jamboree characters for meet and greet? I sure hope they, they do. And uh, can Disneyland get lucky enough to get Country Bear Jamboree as a show? Can it come back to Disneyland Resort? I hope, it, it would have to be at Disneyland now, right? Not DCA. A lot of people have been rumbling like, oh, they're gonna put it at California Venture. I don't think so. I think if Country Bear Jamboree really did come back, it would be Disneyland. We'll see. Alright, we got like a couple more updates. The big one I haven't done in a while is the monorail. So we gotta go do that so we get good looks at all that construction happening for the new turnstiles. A lot of people are saying that one of their favorite trees is gone, which I guess is the one right there in the Esplanade. I don't know if it'll come back or not. Uh, Danny's been rumoring, good buddy, just asked Danny's been rumoring. Lots of work is coming to Esplanade. 
the Esplanade is going to have a lot of work. Maybe D23 goes into that. We'll see. But let's get on the monorail. I'm excited. What are the odds that Disneyland actually does something, actually does something in Tomorrowland by the end of next year? What are the odds? 10%, 20%, 70%, what do you think? What are the odds? What are the odds? It's not a Disneyland trip unless one ride is not open or breaks down on you. So to be expected, one ride was closed, monorail. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna open, so no monorail today. We'll try to do that on my next trip. Uh, we're gonna finish off though with some merch search, and then I think that'll be all for today. If Tomorrowland does get a refurb, I'm guessing Alien Pizza Planet is not gonna survive. The big rumor is that Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters wouldn't survive; it'd be rethemed with something else. There's no way that that gets rethemed and this doesn't, or something brand new comes. Uh, nothing related to Toy Story. Some new Jack Skeleton ears have arrived and a very different style where these tops are plastic, but they don't light up. Yeah, they don't light up. New style of ears, okay. These have also been the talk of the town, the Jack and Sally ears with the removable bow on the back. Very nice. These are lounge fly. Also too, I'm at the Emporium, where this is where I'm finding all these ears. I feel like this is new. We've seen versions of this, but I think this print is brand new. Wow. Disney's really stepping up with the ears. Also too, these new like ice cream line ears came out with like a spirit jersey, lounge fly. A lot of it looking like this, so you could match with your whole attire. <laughs> uh, these are all at the Emporium. Just wanted to say that again. That is going to be all for today's adventure over here at Disneyland. So many exciting updates to come. I feel like this Country Bear barbecue jamboree, it's the first thing to come. I feel like there's still a lot of change that's going to be happening. Disneyland Resort. I don't know how much they're going to focus D23 on Disneyland, but uh, I have a feeling we're, we got some big things in store in August. All right, everybody, that's all for today's adventure. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching Five Fires YouTube. We're firing it down.